Alright, it's time for the video nobody really asked for, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Thoughts flash rant on Heavenly Controller. Now, we're gonna start this off by doing a process. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna look at the description of this amazing channel. Then, we're gonna take a look at the recent video of this amazing channel. And finally, we're gonna top it off by seeing their most popular video. And yeah, that's gonna be the formula for these videos. So, right off the bat, we got uh, <laughs> quite a bit in the description. Whatever, this individual seems like he has a lot to say. In the description, welcome to my YouTube channel. I make videos on whatever I want. Ooh, feisty. Mainly related to anime, of course. Gaming, cosplay, what the freak? Why cosplay? Whatever. And everything else nerd related. Yes, because anime, gaming, and cosplay is definitely nerd related my friend um definitely nothing screams nerd like anime gaming and cosplaying even though you know people like uh ninja you know they they're gamers but they're i don't i wouldn't say they're i, I wouldn't say they're they're nerds but okay cool I, and as far as cosplay goes i wouldn't say that's really necessarily nerdy either but okay dude uh i like live reacting of course uh like <laughs> to the most hype anime moments, such as Goku turning Ultra Instinct. Which wasn't very hype in my opinion, but you know, Dragon Ball Super wasn't very hype in my opinion either. But okay, for the first time in Dragon Ball Super, or All Might facing off against All for One in My Hero Academia. So basically, Heavenly Controller picking the two most mainstream casual animes, uh, you know, of course, because that's gonna, that's pretty much gonna get get the peep the peeps the casual peeps uh which probably is uh <laughs> probably is the reason why there's like you know that nice little 600,000 mark right there but okay moving on i like playing my favorite great games and streaming them on twitch sharing the experience with my followers such as trying to beat god of war on the hardest difficulty and dying for two hours straight or scaring myself half to death in doki doki literature club uh I mean, that's, that's, that's okay. I, I guess that could be entertaining uh, to an extent, yeah. I mean, it depends on how the reactions go. Because with these reaction channels or whatever, it all really depends on the person if the reaction is entertaining, right? So, for the most part, I mean, yeah, that second part, I dig it. Good job, Heavenly. Uh, we also keep it real here, and I don't pander to anyone. <laughs> Press X to doubt. <laughs> if there's anything that I've learned is that people with triple digits and their subscriber count, they always pander to people. Because if you didn't pander to people, you wouldn't have reached that amount of, uh, of a following. Uh, essentially, but okay. We also keep it real here, and I don't pander to anyone. If an anime sucks, if a game is boring, we'll be the first ones to let you know. Uh, it is uh, without pulling any punches. I mean, we'll find out about that. I'll probably look more into your videos at a later date, if anything, but yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. Some people don't like me for it. I mean, uh... I, I don't know, I, I think a lot of people like you for it, uh, I mean that again, that triple digit on here, <laughs> whatever, I'd rather be hated for telling the truth than, well, it's, here's the thing, uh, Heavenly, uh, telling the truth is subjective unless you have facts on your sides and statistics, uh, so I understand what you're doing here, uh, but you, you a <laughs> Truth is subjective unless you have facts and statistics to back it up or you can cite your claims and they can be proven truthful. That is the actual truth. Other than that, again, this is just a subjective statement on your part, but I get what you're going for, my dude. Uh, then love for being fake and inauthentic. Once again, I don't know from my experience from the inside and the outside, people with uh, triple digits or quad digits, they are usually probably the fakest and most inauthentic people ever. But I digress. We are also men and women of culture. Uh, wherever the plot lives, you will find me there. Okay, that basically is a reference to uh, they, there's a lot of etchy or whatever like that's a reference in the anime community where they're like basically oh if there are boobs there We will be there to overreact and act like we are virgins when I don't think heavenly is a virgin uh, If anything, I think he's getting a lot of like a butt AS these days uh, because of his status or whatever So, you know, I, I don't I don't know. I, I guess those that's a pandering statement in itself, Heavenly, so you're kind of contradicting yourself a bit. You say you don't pander, yet the last statement in your description is a pander to the otakus. So I'm already getting bad vibes off of you based on this kind of disingenuous description. 
But who knows, maybe your videos will be be a bit better, who knows. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have ourselves a My Hero Season 4 live reaction. Some of you probably didn't see this coming, some of you probably did because you follow me on Instagram and you see when I post my stream reaction links on my IG story. But, alas, here we have the video version. This is the first, I don't know, was it, nine episodes of the anime. So far, so good. I'm impressed. I'm excited. Lots to look forward to. And as you guys know, it's not a proper My Hero reaction right now. Without the video being sponsored by Verve. Low what? And this is where the contradictions start. Now you're probably wondering, oh, it's a sponsor. What? What could possibly be wrong with that? Well, remember that part where Heavenly said he doesn't pander to anyone? That's a lie. Because here's the thing: when you have sponsors, you kind of mandatorily have to pander to them. Because if you didn't, that would defeat the purpose of having a sponsor. See, the thing with a sponsor is to shed them in the most positive light possible because that's where you're getting an income from see if you introduce your audience to a sponsor's product or whatever if they end up going to said sponsor and buying the products you get a nice little cut out of it which is why there's usually a code to go with it in this case it's whatever enter company name here slash heavenly controller heavenly gets a profit from whatever you end up going to and in this case it's a streaming service or whatever so i get the whole concept of having a sponsor and not really hating on it but there's this thing that most anti-tubers do where they make it seem like this is the end all be all to get your stuff or whatever so mother's basement does this i'm pretty sure for neverworld has done this in the past yeah it's just like why dude you have kiss anime or whatever they try to bring your little pitch and shed it again your the streaming service in the best light possible but overall it's like dude you could just get it off kiss anime there's really no need to pay for this or to enter your code but i guess it's a way of supporting the creator if you think of it that way in a logical sense but again i'm just trying to point out and my argument here is that he is pandering uh, doing exactly the opposite of what he claims to do. Now we're gonna see the video itself and see if this trend continues. So I just got done watching his uh, 15 minute video, recent video. Now I gotta say, I was surprised because this wasn't a pandering video. Well, you know, aside from the beginning with the sponsorship and things, that was pandering. The actual video itself was really pandering. See, I'm used to f like YouTubers, anti-tubers like Chibi overreacting, pandering to every popular anime title. Used to people like For Neverworld kind of doing the same thing. Uh, so I thought that Heavenly Controller was just gonna do well, copy them. But surprisingly. Thank goodness he didn't. In fact, he was actually dropping some semi-colorful language, which I appreciate as well. Uh, I like that. Uh, that was it. Was very good. The video itself, kind of entertaining. I think what made it the best was the editing style, which I'm sure he's not doing. Uh, it's probably someone else. Uh, the editing was what made it great, as well as some of his urban kind of. Uh, reactions because that's what heavenly was basically doing throughout this whole thing he throws in the kind of urban uh, african-american vibes pardon my white side showing for a second uh, he throws that out there as well as the editing and it goes along nice it's kind of a combination if i was to make a comparison to a famous youtuber a little bit of that pewdiepie style just a bit but with anime and that's a good combination I like it, I dig it. Personally, I sub to it because he actually made MHA pretty entertaining. And to be frank, some of the edits that he made maybe kind of want to watch MHA or pick it up at the very least. Now, MHA is a flawed series, that's a video for another day, uh, but still entertaining nonetheless. I like to keep it right down the middle, and I gotta say, Heavenly was pretty entertaining in this. I sub just because I, I might watch another one of those well-edited videos with that urban slang dogs or whatever. But uh, yeah, those are my overall thoughts on Heavenly Controller. Uh, not bad. Not a bad uh, content creator. I saw his most viewed video. I went to that. I'm not gonna go ahead and play it. Uh, it was basically a Naruto uh, Ninja Storm uh, mod video, which is weird that his most viewed video at 3.1 million um whatchamacallit views is his most popular video because i would think that he would be more 
get known for reactions or anime titles, but no, it was, it was Naruto Ninja Storm mods, and this was on uh, 2017, on October, and uh, it's got a nice like to dislike ratio, 19k to 8k, uh, I, he, had, he had decent edits here as well, uh, from what I see in the video, and uh, for the most part, he had the same kind of reactions, he did look per <laughs> much, much younger and much, much nerdy, uh, at this time, but, you know, more power to him, uh, you know, it's cool that he got known because of this, you know, it, it's, it's, it's good, it's, it's, I'm digging it, I'm digging it, it's a, it's good, I have no real complaint other than, uh, the nitpick of the pandering, which I still stand by the fact that most, uh, big channels, uh, will pander, particularly to their sponsors, uh, Heavenly just seems to kind of break that mold for a bit because he's not overhyping the crap out of MHA. He took more of like a neutral stance in which he 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 hyped it up, but at the same time he didn't overhype it. Uh, it's again the equivalent of watching a uh, a MHA episode with your African American friend is the best way I can put it. Uh, but what do you all think about Heavenly Controller? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, guys, I love you all. I notice you all, and I will catch you all in the next one.